Hi, my name is Howard Freed. I'm a Senior Director for Strategic Partnerships at Ventari VR. Uh, we're an Australian-based virtual reality company that focuses on procedure-based training in VR, where we replicate digital twins of all the equipment, the supplies, and have virtualized the instructor to support self-paced learning uh, with real-time feedback. Uh, we're really excited to be here at IMSH to showcase uh, our content, our procedural training, especially this year when we're focusing on image-guided based training and uh, with our focus essentially on four therapeutic areas, cardiology, anesthesiology, critical care and emergency medicine. Uh, as you can see here on the side, my colleagues going through an intracardiac echo simulation where the virtual facilitator is taking him through uh, how to obtain the various standardized view using an intracardiac echo system. Uh, there are various three-dimensional teaching aids, all contained within a highly immersive, realistic environment uh, where you have three-dimensional display of all of your capital equipment. He can interact with all the relative buttons of the equipment to optimize his view as he would with the real equipment if he was in a cath lab uh, environment. As you can also see on the screen, there's various anatomy labels. So this allows him to train at his own pace, understanding what he's looking at. And it's a very standardized, repeatable structure to the learning as it's presented by the virtual instructor. And at the end, all the performance data is rolled up into the cloud to allow for debriefing and identifying any gaps in the training that can be addressed either in situ or in simu based on task trainers, mannequins, and other types of modalities. Uh, the beautiful part about this is no infrastructure is required. The learner can come in at their convenience, log into the laptop, put on the headset, and start accessing the content that would best suit their training needs. So really anytime, anywhere, bringing the training to the learner versus the learner to the training. And this is often uh, deployed into residency and fellowship training programs, uh, and more recently into multidisciplinary training centers. So you can find us at www.ventarivr.com, and it's a privilege to be here and meeting with all the uh, excellent leadership amongst the simulation community globally.